How many of you have heard the story of Thalaba ibn Abdul Rahman radiallahu an? This story, Allahi, every time I think about this story and I talk about it and I narrate it, it's so difficult not to become emotionally moved by the story. Sit back and relax and walk through the life of a young 13 year old boy during the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. His name was Thalaba radiallahu an. He was the messenger boy for the Prophet ﷺ. Anytime the Prophet ﷺ had a message that he wanted to send to another house or another village, he'd call this little boy and say, here, take this message and go to so-and-so's house and deliver it. So he's like this errand boy. One day, the Prophet ﷺ gave him a message and said, go and deliver it to so-and-so's home. So he takes it. Remember, he's a 13-year-old kid. According to some narrations, it's between 13 and 16-year-old. Either way, this is a young kid. So here he is. He takes the message and he starts walking. And it was a real windy day. The breeze was blowing really, really hard. And he walked by a house. Back then, the homes didn't have doors. They had curtains. So on a windy day, the curtain would blow open. So as he's walking by, just instinctively, he sees a curtain by a door. And he kind of turns this way. And guess what he saw? He saw a woman inside that home. And she was bathing herself. As soon as he looked, he turned away immediately and he started crying and he ran away. He actually ran outside of Medina. He ran outside of Medina and he left. You know why? Listen to what a 13 year old kid is thinking now. He said, oh my goodness, I just saw this woman and Allah now is going to put me in the hellfire. That's what he's thinking. What do 13 year old kids think when this stuff happens to them? So he's thinking, my God, Allah is going to probably send down a verse against me. So I'm going to run away. I don't want to confront the Prophet ﷺ about this. He runs away. Nobody hears from him again. Eventually, when the Prophet ﷺ is leading the companions in prayer, after a couple days, he notices Thalaba isn't around anymore. And he says, where is Thalaba? Where is he? I haven't seen him. Imagine, this is the leader of the ummah. He's concerned about one child. All the companions and all of their problems and issues, he's concerned about this one kid. Where is he? What is the well-being of this child? So everybody's saying, we don't know Ya Rasulullah. We haven't seen him in a while. The Prophet ﷺ says to Umar and Salman al-Farisi, he says, both of you go out and find him. Go and look for him. Umar and this other companion, they go out and they start searching for Thalaba and they go outside of the, the city of Medina. They come across a shepherd. He has his sheep and his animals and they come across him and they stop at him sort of like a service station. They want to refuel so they want to get some milk and so on. This shepherd asks Umar, what are you guys doing here? It's kind of abnormal to see you guys from Medina coming around this area. So Umar says, we're just looking for somebody, a young kid. You wouldn't know who he is. So the shepherd, you know what he says? He says, perhaps you're talking about the kid who drinks the tearful milk. The tearful milk. So Umar was kind of interested. What are you talking about? So the man said, every single day around Maghrib time, there's a kid that walks down from the mountains and he comes to me and he asks me for a cup of milk. But... At the same time, he's always in tears and he's crying. And some of his tears falls into the cup of milk, but he still keeps drinking. So Umar says, how can I see this child? I want to see who he is. He's starting to get curious now. So the man says, if you just stay around, stick around for, you know, until Malib and you'll see him, he'll come down. So him and Sabah and Farisi, they sit behind a brick and they're waiting. They're scoping out the place. Guess what happens around Maghrib time? This little boy comes down and he's crying and crying and crying. And guess who it is? It's Thalaba. Thalaba comes and he gets this milk from the shepherd. Before he's about to drink it, Umar is watching all of this. Before he's about to drink it, he drops it to the floor. He's getting crippled. He can't come to grips with the fact of what he saw. Remember, this is a companion that didn't look on purpose. It was by accident. He didn't just did it intentionally. It was just accident. He instinctively looked to his side and he saw something. And in a split second, he turned away. Look what, he's, look what he's gone and done. And he couldn't hold this cup of milk. Umar came out and confronted him. Thalaba looks at Umar and says, No, 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 no. What are you guys doing here? Umar radiallahu an said, Thalaba, we came to get you because the Prophet ﷺ would like to see you. Thalaba says, No, 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 no. Did an ayah come down against me? Did the Prophet ﷺ say, I'm going to the hellfire? Umar says, I don't know, but you're going to have to come. <laughs> Thalaba is a little boy. Umar is, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah, okay? So Thalaba says, I'm not going anywhere. So Umar says, <laughs> he doesn't really say, Who do you think you're talking to? But with that attitude, 
He says, oh, no, 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 you're going back to Medina. He picks up Thalaba and he carries him back to Medina. When they get to Medina, they take Thalaba to his house and they leave him there. They go to the Prophet ﷺ and they said, Ya Rasulullah, we found him, he's in his house. The Prophet ﷺ, you know what he does? He gets up right away and he walks to Thalaba's house and he opens the curtain and he sees Thalaba sitting there and he's crying. Thalaba looks at the Prophet ﷺ and says, No, 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 Ya Rasulullah, I can't confront you. I don't deserve to look at you. Listen to the Prophet ﷺ, Rahmatul lil alameen, the mercy to all mankind. Listen how he starts speaking. He says, O oh, Thalaba, it's okay, calm down. And he's saying, no, 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 Ya Rasulullah, did an ayah come down against me? Am I going to the hellfire? And he says to them, Thalaba, no, you're not. There's no verse against you. Come here. Look at his style of how he's going to comfort this child. This is not even his kid. It's just a citizen amongst the, the Sahabas. He says, come here. And he says to Thalaba, put your head on my leg. Lie down and put your head on my leg. Listen to what Thalaba says. Ya Rasulullah, this head is filled with so much sin and corruption, it doesn't deserve to lie down on the thigh of the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is a 13-year-old kid, okay? Prophet Sallallahu says, it's okay, just come. Thalaba comes quietly and he lays down on the Prophet Sallallahu It's like a father-son moment now. And Prophet Sallallahu puts his hand on Thalaba and says, Thalaba, what do you want? What's gonna make you feel better? And Thalaba is crying and he says, Ya Rasulullah, I just want to know that Allah has forgiven me for what I did. And Prophet says to Thalaba, Allah has forgiven you, don't worry. Guess what happened to Thalaba? His whole body started shivering. The Prophet is looking at him and said, Thalaba, tell me what's happening to you? And he says, Ya Rasulullah, I feel as though there are ants walking through my bones. And the Prophet says, O oh, Thalaba, say the shahada because death is coming to you right now. Imagine this kid, what happened to him, where he went and where he is at this moment. He's dying on the lap of the Prophet ﷺ. And he starts shaking. And before you know it, after a few moments later, Thalaba dies. He went from a kid that seen something that he thought was the end of the world for him. He started to repent and felt bad and felt horrible about himself. He came back and here he is. He dies on the lap of the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet Sallallahu picks him up, shrouds him, prays the janazah over him. On the day of the funeral, they saw the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam walking on his toes. He's kind of tiptoeing and he's walking. Umar radiallahu an, he saw the Prophet Sallallahu do this. And he said, Ya Rasulullah, you're walking on the tip of your toes. But we the people, we've given you so much space to walk. Why are you doing that? Because he was doing it in such a manner as though it was very crowded. The Prophet ﷺ looks at Umar and says, Oh Umar, the reason why I am walking like this today is because there are so many angels present at the funeral of Thalaba. I don't have a place to move. You see what happened? Where he went? Where is our life today? When we see something haram, when you just like simple like you turn on the news or something and you look at the screen, a lot of the kids have Facebook today. What are kids doing today? Look at your role model. Look at this 13 year old Thalaba radiallahu anhu what he does. All because by accident he saw something haram.